points. Today, we're set for a good AFC matchup between the New York Jets and the Indianapolis Colts. Fielded a couple yards into the end zone. And he's up past the 20 to the 22-yard line. Out comes the Indy offense for their first drive of the game and leading him out. Their new quarterback for 2020, the longtime Charger, Phillip Rivers. Okay, I'm not taking a turn to negative town, even though it's going to sound like it. The two interceptions he threw last week, those obviously have to be eliminated. That was the focus of practice this week. But let's face it, he did throw three touchdown passes. And they got the win. And they got the win. So I think it was a good week for him to work on things. Had some positives. The win being for, first and foremost. Now he's just got to eliminate those interceptions. First down yardage on the first play of the drive. 14 yards. Ball up to the 35 now as they come up on first and 10. Here's Marlon Mack. A look at the numbers for Mack from last week. 13 carries, 79 yards, and a touchdown. I was so glad you asked for a couple of offensive linemen to talk to before the game because they told us that in last week's contest, everything was clicking. Didn't matter whether they were doing gap scheme, zone scheme, power, whatever it was, it was working. And they expect more of the same in this game, although they're prepared for some adjustments by the defense they expect to see. It's a gain of three. Brings up third and two. They'll try and run for this with Mack. And he's got a first down as he's up to the 48. They get five out of that one, and it moves the chains. Defense had a chance to get off the field here on the opening drive. Couldn't do it. I know that we go into these meetings with coaches, and sometimes maybe we can get you know, a little bit numb because they're always going to talk about how important third down is, aren't they? Offense and defense. In this case, one capitalized, and the other, as you said, had a chance to get off the field and didn't get it done. To the 49-yard line, a gain of two brings up second and eight. On second down, here's a run with Mack, and he'll get this into enemy territory, but not by much as he's down to the 48. Now third down is looming. A pickup of two on first down and just one yard there. On third down, Rivers. That's complete to Marlon Mack. And he'll get this to the 30-yard line before crossing over out of bounds. Good yardage there for the Colts. 18 and a first down. They show run with three tight ends here on first down. Rivers hands this one to Mack. And he'll lose yardage. Brought down at the 32. Two yards the loss, second and 12. This defense is a difficult one to prepare for, one of the best in the league. They'll come at you from all angles, and they did a nice job there stopping him for a loss. A play fake to Mack, now Rivers. Got him, man, it's caught at the six-yard line. And down he goes, taking it inside the 10, just shy of the five at the six. First and goal from the six. They'll run here with Mack at a minuscule gain of maybe a yard from the six to the five. The ball carrier. Be interesting to see now what they do offensively down near the goal line after not much there that time. As the offensive play caller, that may change your sequence now. Instead of coming right back with a running play, you may have to go to the air. Now a second down throw for the end zone, but it's incomplete. A big play forthcoming. Here's third and goal. Brings up third and goal. From the shotgun, it's Rivers. Back of the end zone. Could he get his feet down? No, it's incomplete. Nice play there to force the incompletion. And to me, one thing's for sure. When you're the underdogs and you're playing on the road, you absolutely have to get takeaways. You've got to get the ball from them. Yeah, win that turnover battle going to be key. They didn't get one there, but you get the feeling they keep making plays like that. They might just get a few. Yeah, once you get one, defensive teams think they come in bunches. So they get three, certainly hoping for six after a 13-play drive. So you console yourself on defense by saying you did your job, right? If they go 13 plays, you only give up a field goal. You did a nice job there. But here's the other part. 13 plays, you don't force any mistakes. You don't take the ball away. Maybe that's the way they should look at it. Darnold 
going to lead the Jets up now. First and 10 at their 25-yard line. He'll set up to throw from the gun. And he'll toss this one incomplete. Seeing no options, he throws it away. Got out of the pocket. Didn't look like he had anybody open, Charles, so just gets rid of it. And a good play by him. If no one's open and you don't have a running lane that you want to take, make the right choice. Under a heavy rush, and down he goes. Anthony Walker came in there hard on the blitz and got him down nine yards behind the line of scrimmage. Darnold and the Jets come up third and long following the sack. Oh, he almost picked him. Nearly a turnover there on their opening drive. Oh, that's a throw he'd like to have back. Now fourth down. Three. How about some applause for the defense there? They forced him to throw that one into coverage, and just like that, they're staring at a fourth down. Well done. We'll call that a punt of 54 yards. Well struck. And the Colts will go on offense here first and 10. So they'll come up first and 10 now from the 33. They'll start on the ground with Mack. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. A gain of 11 to kick off the drive, and it's a quick first down. Good pickup there by Marlon Mack, and he's a 1,000-yard runner in 2019 and has been very consistent in moving the ball for the Colts. Last two seasons, at least eight touchdowns rushing each year. This one into the hands of Burton. And they'll work this down to the 40-yard line, tackled there. It'll be a gain of 17 and in an Indianapolis first down. Back-to-back -back good plays have him on the move on first down. On the handoff, it's Mack. And brought down, but able to get it to their 30-yard line. Ten more there and another first down. Well, they're making a real first-quarter statement with a run game, no doubt. For those who remember old-school football, running it, establishing things, seeing backs find holes, get through them, they've got to like what they're seeing from this unit so far. Right now, they've decided to, set, as you've said, establish the run game, and they've been successful doing it. They'll lose a yard there, and it's second and 11. Brings up second and 11 at the 31-yard line. On second and 11 now, Rivers. He's got Burton here. Six yards is the pickup, and that'll lead to a third down. It's a gain of six. Brings up third and five. Rivers from the gun on third down. And they do get him down, but not before he's able to slip it inside the five-yard line. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. First and goal. And they've got three tight ends here on first and goal to add some extra mass. On the give, this is Mack. And he will push his way forward down to about the three-yard line. It's a gain of a yard, and it'll set up second and goal. Three yards to go on second down, and they've got three tight ends out there. Jumbo set. They'll run it with Mack, and he takes it in for a Colts score. Marlon Mack, his second touchdown on the season, and the Colts are able to grow their lead. Solid blocking up front from the guys on the offensive line allowed him to get in for the touchdown. Yeah, some might say that the guys on the offensive line were in concert. I used to have a coach who called it marrying up, meaning when you get on a guy, you just stay right there. Each guy has his own assignment. That allowed the runner to make the big move towards the end zone. Braxton Berrios on the return. The Jets take over first and... Trying to get one more in here before the quarter breaks. They'll run here with a former Steeler. This is Le'Veon Bell. And he'll be taken down as that will take us to the end of the first quarter of play. 10-0 to score after one on EA Sports. Takes it to the 26, just a one-yard game. Some of these play calls. I think they're a little conservative, but you know me, because it's easy to set up in this booth, right, and make all the calls, and they think I'm going to be correct. But I would like to see them open things up, because otherwise this defense is going to gang up on the run and set them down. And able to connect with Barrios. 
And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. A gain of 18 on the play. And the Jets' first down. Darnold on first down. And nowhere to fit that football in. It's knocked away and incomplete. Incomplete. So second down, still 10 yards to go. Ball on the 43. From the shotgun, it's a give to Bell. Four yards the gain, and it'll bring up a third down. That second down play call was not to pick up the first down. It was to accomplish what they did to get them into a manageable third down because they had incompletion on first down, so they were behind the sticks, so to speak. They needed to make up some ground, and they did. And, boy, he is very close to a first down, but from where they're spotting that football, he's going to be a foot or so short. The offense here not budging. They're going to fight for it on fourth and inches. They'll run it with Bell. And he's got the first down yardage before he's brought down at the 42. Well, we kind of looked at each other as they decided to go for it, but in the end, great execution, a six-yard gain, and it all works out. Bell with a first down carry there as he'll get about four out of that. I feel like I could see what he was thinking on that carry. He wanted to follow that big tackle through the hole. Ended up only getting four yards on the carry. I think he had designs on that one being bigger. And he's going to get this pretty close to a first down at the Colts 30. Brought down. Carry there by Le'Veon Bell. And he's just trying to get back to the form he exhibited in Pittsburgh when he's one of the top backs in the NFL. In 2019, though, no games over 100 yards rushing and only three games with 20 or more carries. The more he touches it, the more effective he is. 17 yards for the Jets there as they've got themselves a first down. From the 13 now, they work on first and 10. Now Gore. And strong running there as he's inside. The 10 and down to the 8-yard line. He was Second and 5 from the 8. It's a gain of five. Brings up second and five. The give is to Bell. And he'll be stopped just outside the five at the six. It'll be a pickup of a couple, and it leaves him with a third and three. The Jets on third down. Just one for three thus far. Here it's third and three. Out of the shotgun, here's Darnold. And he's going to take it in for a Jets touchdown. 15. Chris Hogan, his first touchdown of the new season. And the Jets have made this a one-score game. As the offense went on the field to start their last drive, you know they discussed in the huddle, hey, if we put one in the end zone here, we put ourselves in a position to start making a comeback. So just a three-point game now as they send this one away. Fielded near the back of the end zone. And Rodgers will hold on to this one, and it'll come out to the 25. Marlon Mack now heading back out there. And he's well on his way to a 100-yard game. He's already more than halfway there. We're only in the second quarter. And what I've always loved about running backs is they'll tell you, I had no idea how many yards I had. Right. Those guys have an innate sense of where they are in a ball game and how many yards they've accumulated because you know they're always working towards 100. He's been working well towards 100 here. The loss of three on that first down pass play, now second and 13. Now a quick slant as the throw's complete. 13 yards on the pickup, and they'll be faced with a third and inches. The offense on third down tonight, they've been good. Three for four thus far. They're looking at third and a few inches. And he will have a first down as they get him to the ground at the 37. Two yards and able to get the first down in the process. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. Now Mack. And he gets this one to midfield before he's brought down. 14-yard gain for Indianapolis and also moved the sticks. Consecutive plays now where that offensive line has really created a lot of space. And we've seen the confidence rise, haven't we? It borders on arrogance now, and that's that good arrogance, believing you can run the football whenever you get good and ready. And they'll get him down as he's in. 
inside the 40. They get 10 more there, and I believe that'll be enough for another first down at will. At the 39-yard line. A first down throw here for Rivers. Take it in by the tight end, Doyle. And they'll get this one to about the 20-yard line. 19 yards there on the catch and run. 19 more yards. Good catch there by Jack Doyle. He went to the Pro Bowl in 2019, but now has a new quarterback in Phillip Rivers, and he wants to be the Antonio Gates that Phillip Rivers threw to with the Chargers. First down, Rivers. That is caught at the seven. And stopped a few yards shy of the goal line at the three. 17 more yards on that one as they keep the drive rolling. Reception there by T.Y. Hilton, and he absolutely terrifies defenses when he gets downfield. Speed, shiftiness, excellent hands. Five 1,000-yard seasons in his career. It's a gain of a couple, and it'll be second in goal. Shy of the goal line. A pickup of two. On second and goal, Rivers. And he's got his man. It's Hilton for the Colts touchdown. T.Y. Hilton, his second touchdown on the season. And the Colts, they add on to their advantage. And his kick is good. That time, a nine-play drive. And it culminates in an Indianapolis touchdown. Sanchez now, he'll kick it away following the touchdown. Taking it about the one. And they will wrangle him down a couple yards shy of the 30. Barrios on the return. The Jets take over first and 10. At New York ready to go again offensively. And in a first half that really has not been kind to them. A late opportunity here to maybe make some inroads on this deficit before half. And this drive's going to go a long way towards telling us whether they actually have a chance to come all the way back in this game or not. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. First down yardage on the first play of the drive. Give him 14. A first down throw, Darnold. Looked like the defense put pretty good pressure on him, but he's able to flush out to his right to try and evade people. On the run, had to get on his horse. Still accurately throws a nice pass for a first down. At the 47 yard In need of only about the length of the football here on second down. Darnold from the gun. Going right side here, and that's complete. And they'll get him to the ground. He has another first down at the Colts 32 yard line. Now the Jets going to use the second of their three timeouts as the clock will stop with 35 seconds to go in quarter number two. Darnold off the play fake to Bell. That's complete as he goes right back to Crowder. And he'll go out of bounds inside the 15-yard line. Another good gain. That's now 35 yards combined on those last two plays. From the 13 now, they work on first and 10. This will be caught at about the six. This will be stopped about two yards shy of the marker. Eight-yard gain, second and two. And for the Colts, an extra defensive back in there now on third down. They'll try and run for it with Bell. He didn't get the touchdown, but he did get the first down as he's tackled at the one. First and goal, Jets. First and goal, and they got to be thinking a chance to get right back into this football game. A shotgun snap for Darnold. To the goal line, but it's incomplete. The free safety Malik Hooker there in coverage. Another shot from the one on second and goal. They'll try and run it in with Bell. And he's into the end zone. Touchdown, Jets. Le'Veon Bell. In the final seconds of the first half. And the Jets are able to make this a close game again. The kick is good. CD for them. This has just been an offensive explosion here in the second quarter. Yeah, held scoreless in the first quarter. Now they find the end zone again here in the second. Sometimes you just have to have some patience. A lot of people think it's always an adjustment. You have to change what you're doing. Sometimes you just have to do your game plan just a little bit better. And I think that's part of what we're seeing here. First and 10 at their own 25-yard line. No reason. 
reason to do anything foolish as they'll snap it one more time on first down. And with time running down, they go down to a knee. Well, the white flag coming out as they line up to kneel on it. And we will skip the highlights show this week, get right back to this week three matchup. Jets, 14. Second half, ready to get underway. The Colts with a lead, and they will receive the football. Back on offense, New York gets set to take over. They're close, close game, but they're going to need to do a little bit better probably here at half two, no? I would agree with that totally. I would guess it in the locker room. They talked about cleaning up some of the errors. Overall, I think they wanted to be positive with them. Guys, we're right there. Just not playing as well as we need to. Let's pick it up, and we still have a chance to win this game. Yeah, they do. We'll see if they can pick it up. They get this to Hogan on the jet sweep. And he'll be out of bounds, but able to get it up past the 45. It'll go as a gain of 11 and a Jets first down. An excellent run there coming from out wide. And we used to consider these jet sweeps to be gadget plays or something a little bit unusual, right? But now most teams have some version of this play in their playbook. And I think it's a lot because of the receivers that are being developed nowadays. These guys look like running backs, even though they're playing out on the perimeter. From just shy of midfield, Darnold. And they'll get him to the ground. He has another first down at the Colts 39. It's a first down on a gain of 10. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. A give to Bell. And they're able to get this one past the 30, down to the 25. Down on the field, we've got an injured Colt after that last play. We'll check on his status when we get back. On first down, it's Darnold. He's got Herndon. He's tight in. And he is out of bounds right around the 10-yard line. 15 more there, and they're on a roll. It's another first down. So not quite a first and goal. It's first and 10 from the 10. On first down, Darnold flushed out right. And Mims has got it. Touchdown, Jets. Complete to Denzel Mims. Denzel Mims with his first career NFL touchdown. And the Jets have taken the lead. So he scrambled right, but was able to look back toward the middle of the end zone to find the target. As you know, in this game, sometimes you just have to know when to break the rules because we all know most guys throwing the football are taught never throw back into the middle of the field on a scramble. He did it and got away with it for a touchdown. Instinct sometimes, right? They just take over. Instinct and vision. Sometimes you just see people who are open, you're able to get it to them. On the return, the Colts take over first and 10. Here's the Colts now as they get ready for their first possession on offense of the second half. They trail offense, first time to touch the ball in quarter three, and we'll see what they can do. And I can't wait to see what they have planned because some teams script to start a half. Other teams just go, okay, these are the sequence of plays we want to run. These things worked well for us. And sometimes they throw in that big chunk play right away. Shocker. Try and get after them early and try and create a big play to give themselves some momentum. See what they have up their sleeve. And brought down, but not before reaching the 45-yard line. That's good for an Indianapolis first down on a gain of 10. A couple of very nice carries to start this drive out. Yeah, two first downs. And how about that second one? What a nice run on that particular play. I'm telling you, they're going to start to think that this game is easy if they continue to rip off yardage like this. It's another 10 yards on that one and another first down. The partner, he just surpassed 60,000 career passing yards. I remember when you and I were there when he hit 50. Now 60. Rush coming, and he's taken down. Sacked there by Avery Williamson, the linebacker. Well, they had the right down and the definite distance to take a shot downfield, but it didn't work out the way that they had envisioned. No, that's a situation where if, if you take a sack close to the line of scrimmage, it's not that bad, but a loss like that, you can't, you can't take a sack there. Yeah, absolutely. The one thing you cannot do, they did. That one good for 24 yards. So in jet territory now. Here's first and 10 at the 30-yard line. Working out of the gun, Rivers. Nowhere to turn here, and he 
he's going to go down. Back at about the 37-yard line. Steve McClendon credit him for the sack. So second and long, and got to be careful not to fall out of field goal range. From the gun, Rivers. That's into the hands of Pascal. And he'll be brought down at the 27-yard line. That's it. Here's play number seven on the drive. This is third and seven. Operating from the gun, Rivers. And he gets it all the way down inside the 10 and mark him at the five. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. Third and goal at the five-yard line. They'll try and run for it on first and goal. And the hole closes quickly here. He can fight only to about the four. Only a yard on the pickup there. Second and goal. Brings up second. Well, Brandon, we always know that once you score one touchdown, you want two. <laughs> you're without a doubt. And so far today, he's got one. And he's into the end zone. Touchdown, Indianapolis. Marlon Mack. His second touchdown of the afternoon. And the Colts are going to jump back in front. Uh, he's giving him a little jolt. Just gave him the lead there, but two TDs now in the game. And that jolt puts them in the lead. What a terrific job by him. He is carrying the ball and simply saying, I want to win. And now he's hoping his defense has that mentality as they try to hang on to that lead. Fair catch made at the 25-yard line. The Jets, the Jets offense coming up now to start their next drive. They had gotten the lead with the opening drive touchdown in the third quarter. Now they relinquish that lead back. Could be in for an interesting second half. It certainly appears that way, doesn't it? Almost turning into one of those pendulum games, right? Where he swings back and forth, and who's going to make the play that changes that, that maybe it puts it on one side and keeps it there. They'll go again with Bell. And he is met at the line of scrimmage, and he goes down right there. No gain on the play, and it's going to bring up a third down. No gain on third down, a nickel formation here defensively. Now it's Darnold. The throw left side complete to Hogan. Darnold's pass. And he's able to get the first before he's taken down at the 36. First down. You can just kind of sense the momentum turning here. It's first and ten. Out of the shotgun. It's Bell. It's a seven-yard carry to set them up with a second and three. Well, no matter how they phrase it, staying on schedule, staying ahead of the sticks, whatever you want to call it, seven yards on first down. That fits the bill. This will be a jet sweep to Crowder. And he'll go down right around the 47 this time. Four yards the pickup, first down. A couple of first downs on the drive already. As he'll go from the 47 now on first down. Looking for Mims, but this is intercepted. Xavier Rhodes with a pick. And the return this time will go out to the 42-yard line. Before we came up to the booth, the last thing he said as we were walking off the field, want to play mistake-free football. Well, that just went out the window there with a pick. And do you remember what you said to me when we were walking up to the booth after he said that? You're like, oh, fatal last words. Every time we hear that, things tend to fall apart a little bit. And that's what we saw there. Didn't get enough on that throw, and it turned into an interception. Brings up second and four. And that is going to do it for this third quarter of action. We'll return with more after this. This is the NFL, and it's on EA Sports. They go right back to Mack. He'll get three up to midfield. That's some good tackling there to keep him short of that yellow line. Yeah, defensively, all I'm thinking is that on that play, get me to third down. Get me into a position where I can make one more play and get my defense off the field. Staying on the ground with Mack. And they're going to mark him down short, maybe by about a yard, if that. This late in the game, Charles, I think you maybe seriously have to think about going for it. Especially where they are in terms of field position, because this is almost like no man's land. Might hurt your punter because there might not be enough space, maybe too far for your field goal kicker. I, I'm like the old rule. Possession is nine-tenths of the ball. Possession is nine-tenths of winning the game. Go for it. Get the first down. Close it out.
And they'll come out with a three tight end look on the first play of the drive. They'll start out on the ground with Bell. Well, that gives them a little room, but not much. A gain of two to the five. Ball carrier. That first down play, all you want to do is wedge out any type of space and try and create enough room. If you have to run the punter out there, you can successfully complete the punt. Yeah, it didn't get a ton there, but at least some positive yardage. Some of the most unselfish players on any football team are defensive tackles because we ask them to just eat up blocks and allow other people to make tackles. But when he can make a play himself, as we just saw there, that's a big day. And he will find his man. That's Hogan complete. And able to get it across the 20 before they get to him. 14 yards is the pickup there at a jet first down. We saw a number of good games earlier today. This one might top all of those. It's been a dandy as we come up on first and 10. And he'll take this one up close to the 25-yard line. Two yards on the carry there. It'll be second down. Certainly a nice job there by the defense rallying to the football and getting him on the ground. But I think the play gets made by the defensive front because if they can't get upfield, their job is to go ahead and get low, almost get into a ball sometimes, stack things up, and make it difficult for the runner to find a hole. 11 yards there, first down. So from the 36 now, first and 10. Back to throw, Darnold. Throw complete to Herndon. And able to get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. 10 more there and another first down. First down, New York. They'll go back to the ground with Bell. He'll be taken down at the 48 for a pickup of two yards. He was taken the last run got a couple. Here's second and eight. Two yards on the pickup. It's second and... Darnold now to throw. Gets this one to Le'Veon Bell. And they'll get him to the ground. He has another first down at the Colts 33. Le'Veon Bell. Catch by Le'Veon Bell and in 2019. 66 catches, but just 461 yards. Both of those totals well short of his career highs. An important piece of any offense with his ability to run it and catch it out of the backfield. I have to give some credit to the defender on that when he read all of his keys perfectly and got a great break on the ball and able to force that incompletion. Second down and 10, Darnold steps away to his left. Throw left side complete. It's Bell. That'll leave him with a third and two coming up. They got eight yards there. He was out there waving his arms. When you got a quarterback out of the pocket looking for any help, I guess waving the arms is helpful. It certainly is because you got to get his attention because now you're in scramble drill. So everyone's adjusting their routes, finding open space, and he found the right spot for the completion. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. Only way to get the lead here, of course, with a touchdown, and that's what they're gunning for on first and goal. And from the nine, they get this to the five-yard line. It'll be a pickup of four, and it brings up second and goal. Second and goal, the lone man in the backfield, Le'Veon Bell. They'll give it to him up the middle, and he is in. Touchdown, New York. Le'Veon Bell with his second TD of the game, his sixth on the year. And the Jets have once again taken the lead. Well, let the natural light of today reflect that he is now getting into the end zone two times. Look at you. You're little uh, Ralph Waldo Emerson. Is that his name? No, I was just going with the meteorologist. I said it was a day game. I'm here. Out is the kickoff unit as they run up and send this one away. And this carries into the end zone. And Rodgers will hold on to this one, and it'll come out to the 25. Now another drive coming for Phillip Rivers and the Colts. A field goal does him no good. They need a touchdown. And right now, in his mind, in his memory bank, he's drawing on times that he's done this before. Not necessarily in the NFL. College, high school, peewee ball, wherever. Anything positive that he remembers about taking a team downfield with a chance to win, he's going to draw on that for this drive. I'm sure that these guys live for these moments. Here we go. Rivers on first down. A good throw here, finding Pascal. And yeah, this will leave him a yard short. Nice pickup of nine yards on first down. 
Zach Pascal. Grabbed there by Zach Pascal. He's one of those guys that often people forget are even on the roster, but when you look up at the end of the game, he's produced over 600 yards and five touchdowns in 2019. Throw away, and in there we go, third and one. Gut check time on both sides. They'll try and run for this with Mack. Now he's not going to get there. That won't even be close. It was blown up in the backfield. They end up getting stumped twice after that nine-yard gain back on first down. Down four late. Got to go for it here on fourth down. So the Colts in possession of the football as we get your reset. And they've got a fourth down now in a game that, to be honest, has been pretty much everything we could have asked for. And that is incomplete. They had to go for it with such little time remaining. And the Jets are going to get the football here in great field position. Well, they were looking for a clutch play there on fourth, but unable to come up with it. How about that defense, though, huh? How about that D? Yeah, momentum fourth. swing. And, you know, I remember playing how much fourth downs were emphasized. You know, because, as you said, it's a momentum play. It's also a big test for you. You know, if people are going to go for it on fourth down, they believe you're not up to the challenge. You want to show them differently. Now the Colts going to burn the second of their timeouts as they'll talk it over here before what will be an important third down. Now it's Darnold. Got a man. It's Mims. Now the Colts will use their third and final timeout, and they'll be disappointed to have to burn one there after giving up the first down. And not totally home free yet, but it's looking good as they come up first and ten. They'll try and run some clock here as they keep it on the ground. A pickup of about three yards as he's taken down at the 31. He's brought down. Well, they picked up a little bit of yardage there, and now, in this situation, should be in no hurry to run a play really fast. Let the clock wind down. Again, it's Bell. He'll be dropped at the 25 after a gain of six. Tackled at the Charles. Why didn't they just take the knee there? You're asking the question that I'm asking as well because we've seen a lot of football where coaches decide maybe they get a little greedy. I don't know if they're doing it for stats or for what reason. We've seen it happen in college. It happened in the NFL. The miracle of the Meadowlands. All they had to do was take a knee and the game was over. The Giants ran it one more time. Ball popped free. Philadelphia picks it up and wins the game. What year was that? 1978. I think it was in November. So it's a victory here for the New York Jets, and they were spurred on by a strong performance in that fourth quarter as they held their opponents off the scoreboard. Everyone wants to pitch a shutout for the entire game, but when you throw one in the fourth quarter, that tells everyone that you're getting stronger and dominance is starting to take over, right? The way that you close, the way that you finish, that gets preached to you from the time you're playing Little League football all the way up through, and they closed them out with a big-time performance down the stretch. So for the Jets, they get back in the win column as they move to 2-1 and one now on the year. And they'll be back home next week to take on the Denver Broncos. Meanwhile, for Indianapolis, they'll fall to 1-2. and two, And they'll try and turn things around next week as they have a date at Soldier Field with the Chicago Bears. So for Charles Davis and our entire crew, I'm Brandon God. Next game, guess what? Charles and I will be here again. It's the NFL on EA Sports.